Howdy folks, I am Ruskiel, and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. In the last one, we did the trading sequence, and we totally got the Gerudo membership card to the, to the Gerudo training grounds. And in this one, we are going to be tackling said Gerudo training grounds. Uh... Date is still May 23rd, for, for those of you who are interested. And that's a bloopy. That's not very helpful. Oh no, I lost my Deku Nuts. Darn it. Oh, this room. I don't like this room, because I never know where to start and what to do. I always... And then this thing always comes along and interrupts my thought process. It takes just enough time. I was... Super convinced I was going to get hit by that. Um, I don't know, I want to go this way, because I think there's one over here, yes. And then... Hitbox! Hitbox, please! Thank you. Oi, 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 okay. So... Um, fortunately this room doesn't really yield much. I need to go around in order to get that, don't I? I don't know. Maybe there's a rock? No, there is no rock there. Uh-oh. Where's the last one? Must be on the other side. Eh, not so bad. It's just a matter of doing it. There it is. Yeah, I knew it wasn't so bad. It's just annoying, because I never know, like, what the optimal path is. That's the one thing, is for how... is that, despite having to do this more and more often, I still am unsure as to what path I should take in order to get it done. Woofles! Um, you can attack? Oh, come on! You had your back to me, plus this is the Begorn Sword! Alright, fine. We'll do it your way. Come on. Not so bad. Alright, so that's that. Oh, yes, and we, and since we have the silver gauntlets, we can get into uh, the real, the really big guy here. The one that really yields some stuff. Song of Storms. Say hello to the bottom of the well, people. Yes! Well, finally! Good progress! Just what I needed. Oh, it feels so good. Um, oh. There's a, there's a switch. Uh, gotcha. It, it's not like I know where the uh, hookshot target is in relation to that ledge. All I know is there's one in there. And I did... Well, I, no, I do have the Lens of Truth. I was about to say, I don't even have the Lens of Truth to do that. Um, hello? Why weren't you taking damage, sucker? Oh my god, this is so annoying. Even Deku Nuts don't do nothing to them. Fine. We'll, we'll do it the hard way, then. Or the annoying way. One of the two. Iron boots, so I can do that. Ah, oh, we can get into the water. Oh my gosh. What's going to be what? what? Where do I have to go? Since I'm getting so many things in here now, what's required? Is it the water temple? Is it the bottom of the well? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe none of it will be required. Maybe I'll just get everything else I need in here. That'd be nice. Evidently, I'm getting all my keys. And some arrows. Don't really care about the arrows, though. Okay, so the next room is... Da -da -da -da, the totem room, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's the totem room. Because I think the... Yeah. I want to say the lava room is after that. Yeah, here we go. Totem room. So we'll, first, th first things first. Go over here and trigger your scarecrow. 
because that's pretty useful to have. Alright, so... Pretty straightforward. It's not even that hard of archery. It's not like the it's not like the archery minigame. <laughs> I say that as I'll probably miss one of these and have to go all the way around again. It's just a nice little ride. Not a whole lot to it. Um, let's see what else is going on. Well, work's going a bit better. I'm actually I'm actually been able to get some stuff done. So, even though there's still lots to do, um, at least a lot of that stuff is have, is actually getting progress done and worked on, so that's nice. Although, <laughs> just a mere two of the projects would definitely be enough to keep me busy for the rest of the year. Okay. Fifteen... Oh God, fifteen hearts. I'm so close to getting pretty much everything. Oh, okay, so Song of Storms, Water Temple. I'll probably save the Water Temple, because... Eh... That probably opens the door. Oh, it does unlock a chest, too. And then there's one of these totems that has an eye switch behind it, and that should get us the item that's in fire. Okay, there's that. Oh, no, th this one has a switch under it, too. Okay, these, the switch unlocks the door. This one unlocks this chest. Knocked Literally... Everything that I needed for major progress is in this one space. So much. So much has opened up. So many chests. So many possibilities. Oh my god. This is amazing. I'm just glad I don't need the fire tunic in here. Oh my god, I'm gonna start getting I'm gonna start getting so many things. Gonna be ridiculous. Okay, good. I was a little nervous about that one. Let's see here. Song of Time, this. And there's a. The first thing I want to do in this room is get the silver rupees because that's that's usually my first inclination is to grab rupees. So I might as well get make sure I have all the rupees. I may I might as well make sure I get the rupees because that spawns a key at the top of the that staircase thing there. Now what really worries me is where are the bubbles? All right, so that should oh it unlocks that. That's fine. Ugh. I'm always so scared about that. I guess I could have just took it off. Alright. So we can do this one. Oh my god, with the and with the iron boots too, that's nice. Um Unfortunately no Zora tunic, so we're gonna have to do this in a probably a couple of trips, but it's better than not being able to do it at all. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy! Things are going so much better than they were at the end of... Uh, than at the end of the last recording session. Oh no. Oh my god, there's so many of these things down here. Come on. Oh. The, and I, I will admit, these these enemies have a shorter uh, have a shorter period of uh, vulnerability than I remember. Because for whatever reason, uh, sometimes it's is it because for whatever reason, sometimes the uh, hookshot doesn't work quite like you were expect you would expect it to. All right, so. Is that... Oh no, what, what I want to do is I want to make sure I get this one on the way up. 
I'll get it. I'll get a bit closer. Minute. I'm hoping a minute is enough to do this. Okay, so how is that other ruby configured? Is it right below? It looks like it is. So hopefully I can just hook shot to this one and get it. I don't. I, old habits die hard. Come on, got it. All right, this room is done, and I didn't even need to do it in two goes because I had so many hearts. That is awesome. Things, things are. I'm I'm getting the good luck this time around. Good lord, the one thing that I could have done for so long, for so long, and it's exactly what I needed. Oh, shoot. That damn bubble. He... They placed that one... They placed that one real well. More keys. So that gets me six of the minimum seven that I need. Is there something I can do on this side? Yes, there is. There are a couple things that I can do here. Take a shield. Eh. Didn't need it. And then there's one around this corner, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Piece of heart. The bomb chew piece of heart, specifically. And that, I'm pretty sure, is just a shortcut. So we're going to go ahead and continue our path around this way. And then we should be basically good to finish this place off. An episode to complete the GTG? Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Evidently. Come on. Fine. We'll do it a we'll do it a weird way. I wish you could take out the Beamos with a hammer. Ugh. What are you doing? Well, that works, I guess. Why do you get so much time for that room compared to the one with the two Stalfos, I wonder? Stalfos was just a minute. This one's like two. So that's weird. Alright, so this should be the way out, and this should put us right back in the entrance room. Excellent. Now, whether I'm missing chests or not, I don't know for certain. I don't think I am. I mean, there. Oh, well, I mean, there's this one up here. Is it this side? I think it's this side. No, it's the other side. Um, is there... I, like I said, I think this is just a shortcut that, over to that room with the uh, with the lava, so we'll, we'll skip that for now. Oh, do I, I... This is probably... The big chest is probably the key, isn't it? It's probably just the last key. Well, we'll check it to be absolutely certain, but I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. I think a key is just locked behind a key. Oh, wait, no, there are more chests on the way, so it could be something else. So I guess it's a good thing I did check this. Or decided to check this. Yeah, so it's gotta be... I mean, it's something. Probably just a recovery heart or an ice trap or whatever. But if it's... Like, double magic, that'd be nice. What else could it be? I don't know. Double magic, any of the tunics. Ocarina of Time, that's really not all that important. But hey, I, we got the titular item, as it were. Hmm. Piece of heart. Man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so close to 100%ing this by the time I get done with... When I, by the time I actually get done with the seed. It'll be like I just... Did a complete LP of the thing. Zora tunic, hey, nice. So that really sets us up for the water temple. Hmm. I want. I wonder if it's guiding me that direction or not. Well, bottom of the well should be faster. I think. Yeah, bottom of the well should be faster. Um, Shadow temple should be faster, and they definitely have more chests within them. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I don't think there's a whole lot of extras in the water temple. So I'll I'll start my searches there. Plus we got all the Song of Storm grottles as well. So we got one in front of Goron City. We've got one in Ka uh, Kokiri Forest. Um, those are the 
two main ones I can think of offhand. I don't know for certain if there's any any other places. Um, so we will check those first. Oh, yeah. I was about to say... Hold on a second. Let me let me let me try to path this out in my mind real quick. <laughs> 